I'm Madeline Gent, and I'm Executive Director of the Associated Artists of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is known for its 90 neighborhoods, but those 90 neighborhoods are consolidated into nine districts. And in each of those nine districts is an incredible variety of life, art, culture, and people. In this series, we're going to examine each of those districts a little bit closer by looking at the work of one artist. In today's episode, we're going to look at the work of painter and watercolor artist Natik Jalil. I think I've always known that I wanted to be an artist. It just wasn't always feasible. I think the moment that I decided that I was actually going to pursue it was about seven years ago when I just became completely dissatisfied with working a nine to five job and decided I was just gonna go for it. You know, if I'm gonna be miserable, I'd rather be miserable doing what I love. I was working like in a call center. It was not something that I aspired to be. It, it wasn't wasn't even really paying the bills, you know. Um, and funny enough, shortly after I made the decision, I had my first successful show, and that paid the bills. I show it in several different places around the, around the country, and you know, whenever I can, there's places in LA that have my art. Uh, there are places in New York City, places in Denver. Uh, so, yeah, several different places. Uh, the mural on the outside of the building uh, actually didn't have too much, um, t anything to do with that one um, in particular. I just feel like it's um, amazing work that kind of uh, highlights the, the, the community, the, the, the artsy community around here. Um, it looks like there's pieces of the different, you know, various different parts of history of this neighborhood and um, I guess their vision of the future face to the emotions that I'm feeling and whether it's some type of a pain whether it's some type of joy I try to always get that to translate uh, which is why I often listen to music while I'm painting simply because I need to keep that emotion and so I will play music that reflects that so that the through the duration of the painting um, it you know that that emotion gets to be conveyed inside the work that's being created. I get here at the studio sometimes 9 a.m. and I stay until uh, 5, 6, 7 o'clock and I'm painting most of the time. I paint for exhibits and I paint personal pieces that eventually end up in exhibits also. I feel like it's important for artists to not only create for their clients and for their exhibitions, but I feel like it's important for us to take the time to do work that we're doing just because. If we lose touch with what made us love the work in the first place, it becomes another job. And I feel like that's not the reason to get into art. I feel like overall Pittsburgh treats its artists pretty good. I feel like Pittsburgh is in the place where New York City used to be in the 80s. It has the potential to turn into the next big place for artists and that's really exciting. I feel like I sell work consistently out here and I feel like there's a lot of support for the arts. Here in Pittsburgh, I feel like the rents are affordable right now. However, that seems to be changing. Um, gradually, it's becoming harder for, I feel, um, a early career artist to, to make a living off of their art. They'll have to continue to work another job and you can't be a successful artist if you are not able to do it full time. You can't be a successful part-time artist. And I think that that's what Pittsburgh needs to keep in mind. If it wants to keep this art scene, the Associated Artists of Pittsburgh is really, really an amazing organization that really looks out for the artists. I'm a new member there, and in the short time that I've been with them, I've gotten so many opportunities, and I feel very honored to be a part of them. I feel like they uh, have treated me very well in the time that I've been there. I feel like they're very attentive to their artists and I, I feel like there is no better organization that I could be a part of. The community there is just starting to realize that they have artists that are living next door. 
I feel like the neighborhood um, gives off an artsy feel. They just don't know that we're there yet. And I feel like through shows like this, this will make them aware of their artists. And I feel like once they realize, it's going to become very exciting for artists who live there. Currently, I love it because it's quiet. It allows me to focus on my work. Um, there are children running up and down the street playing, and I feel like that's an amazing feeling to be able to create art in peace.